Hey everyone, this is Bazooka. Welcome back to one of my videos. Last time, we beat Baz's Nightmare, something that has always been in his mind that was conjured by Baz himself. And we struck it down. We gained a massive amount of HP, and look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So much. So much. It's amazing. It is ridiculous. It is... Whoa. <laughs> yeah. That that's what you get. Look at look at his offense now. 227 or no. Yeah, 227 offense, 211 defense and it's just mm, so so much more stronger than every other character now. That's the power of uh yeah. The whole Magikin experience. Unfortunately, we did lose that uh, that soundstone, so we can never listen to it again. But it will always be in our hearts. Okay, that was a little bit cheesy, but you know what? I don't care at this point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Mr. Saturns are incredible folk, and this Mr. Doove kid, or Mr. Doove, and the Mr. Doove. Oh, Mr. Doove, you're getting quite a reputation. <laughs> he is a most exceptional young man. Very different from other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phase distorter has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took, mi <laughs> took Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device. A pig wearing clothes. I can only think of one person. Me. No. <laughs> Pokey. Excellent. Excellent. Everything's proceeding as planned. Or everything proceeded as planned. Mr. Andernuts, Mr. Saturn, and I worked together and finally completed the phase distorter. The purpose of the device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the locations of enemies. Right now, it is indicating the presence of the enemy in the lost world. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean to... What? Well, luckily, or, or depending on how you're looking at it, unfortunately, it doesn't work. Hmm, it doesn't work. Thanks. <laughs> one thing is missing, but that one material cannot normally be found on Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? Well, actually, yes. Eureka! Gotcha! Take that! Objection! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> I'm sorry. With even just a piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize the material... Zexonite... Zexonite? Zexonite. I'm gonna go with that. I doubt that your mortal enemy, Gygus, or whatever, will allow you to go to Onnit to get a piece of that meteorite. By now, Onnit ha is in his evil hands. You must go, though, so take every possible precaution. The Mr. Sirens have introduced, yes, introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Also, I love how it's like, <laughs> they're like still burned and covered in soot, and he's just like, he's just casually talking to them, like, oh no, are you okay? No, it's just like, oh, <laughs> because that was English, right? <laughs> Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what Ana is like at this point in time. And we can just stand here and be like this. <laughs> you! Gerardo! This is interesting. I'm not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble ahead for you. I'm gonna stay here for a while and help Mr. Saturn. It's important for a man to enjoy doing his duty. <laughs> he's the duty. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. Now then. Uh... What am I gonna do? I'm gonna check out their shop. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I do believe he's the battle equipment seller that has nothing. Oh wait, I think I think it's this guy. Yes, this is the new. This is the new guy. I think. There we go. The flame pendant, rain pendant, and the night pendant. Yeah. So you can all you can buy them all here if you wish. Uh. So yeah. Uh. 
So, in which case, I will see you guys... Well, actually, no, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm just gonna teleport to on it because that's exactly where we need to go. Alright. Let's go. And let's use Baz's teleport because, okay, you know what? Why not? Why not? Well... Bob Fett. That's right. I already said that, it's not funny. <laughs> Alright, so... Whoa. It sounds just like the Stonehenge base. Clearly, something is wrong. And with this, there are new enemies. New enemies that are quite dangerous, might I add. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's go take a look at these new enemies. Here we go. Alright. New enemy number one. Mechanical Octobot. Mechanical Octobot is, of course, an upgraded version of military and... Marauder Octobots. Um, I think he can also, like the other Octobots, I'm pretty sure he can steal items from you. And uh, there's nothing quite. I think he can disrupt your senses. I'm not entirely sure though. But yeah, let's just beat his face in. And uh, yeah, it wasn't very hard, but at the same time, there's only one enemy, so uh, gotta give him the benefit of the doubt. Level 82. Oh, yes. That rock. That does rock. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Alright, perhaps uh, another enemy? Uh, two new enemies. Well, let's go with the Evil Eye, the one that encountered us first. Evil Eye is an... <sighs> He's really annoying. Evil Eye can diamondize you. I remember this specifically because it was a big deal uh, when I was playing when I was younger. So, be careful of that. Take him out first. But at the same time, you should also heed Ghost of Star Man. Oh, dear lord, that hurts so much. Uh, actually, let's, uh, let's safely do this. Flash menacing smile. Well, that's not very menacing if you're letting your opponents heal themselves. So, uh, let's just, uh, <clears throat> wait it out a little. I'm sure that will be enough time because he's already been dealt enough damage. Yep, okay. Good, good, good. Jolly, oh, what not? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. So yes, uh, Evil Eye. Be careful of it, of it being diamondized. Uh, in that case, I guess you shouldn't exactly prioritize it. Maybe you should prioritize... Ghost of Starman, as you saw, Ghost of Starman can use Psystorm, Alpha, and it hurts. So I wouldn't put it. I wouldn't blame you if you went after this guy first, which I'm gonna do. See how that's gonna go. Oh, I just missed. Oh no! Ah, I had to go through. Oh, oh. Ugh. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh no! Paralysis Omega. That. Uh, uh, the, okay, let's do that. Now, as you can see, BC was dealt moral damage, but it didn't make that noise. The reason for this is because um, if you're lucky and your guts is high enough, ah, oh, dang, dang. Oh well. If you're, uh... <laughs> uh... If your guts is high enough, you can... Uh, you can kill... Oh dear, let's do that. <laughs> They're in the BC. Oh, Polt, uh, that's kind of, uh... Mm, I don't know if that should be a thing that you're trying to do. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah, if your guts is... Well, depending on your guts, you have a chance of living after being hit. So, after you're hit, you can, um, you can live with one life. So, that's, that's a big deal, I feel. Okay, you know what? I have so many couple of life needles that I'm just gonna use one. Oh, right. We're all paralyzed. <laughs> Alright. Let's do that. Uh, 
let's do that. And let's do that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Use that on hypo. There we go. And yeah, all right. Let's continue on, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, change of plans. Goes to Starman. Take him out first. He will always start out with a Starstorm Alpha. <laughs> And it hurts. A lot. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I forgot to start talking. Oh, I was too concentrated on not getting into a battle with these joikes. All these joikes everywhere. Yeah. Alright, so, let's go over to this spot over hither. There's something shiny that you can reach. You want to try and get it from a smoldering hot, still hot meteorite that is still glowing orange. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> That's got the meteorite piece. Alright, and uh, why not let us go over to place that is called Ness's house and fight some more enemies why not right <laughs> smash was that the first smash in a long time I think it's, uh, at least it's the first smash in this episode I think goodness Woo. Woo. Okay, well, let's continue on once again. Yeah, let's uh, make a quick pit stop at uh, Ness's, or Baz's house because uh, we've sustained a lot of damage and we're using a lot of psychic points just to uh, fight these guys. You know, the thing about the evil eye is when you beat it, it says evil eye became, became tame. So, what's that supposed to mean? Does that mean it's like a natural creature? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, Baz, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around on it now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes and afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just stick, sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do I need some pesta? Yes, I do. Thank you, mother. <clears throat> if you, yeah, forgive me. Ooh. Are you more relaxed? Okay. You, Taylor. Taylor, how's it going? At this point, you guys just might be the strongest force in the world. Don't you think? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean... Yeah. Sure, why not? <laughs> Tracy's room is... Still lit up. <laughs> I support you wholeheartedly. Don't get yourself knocked off. I w I'll be strong while you're gone. Oh, it's my line now? Oops, yes. Uh, I want to check out. Because... Hoppa. Earth pendant. Yeah. And let's get the other earth pendant. Boop, boop. Earth pendant. Yeah. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Uh. Let's give that to Polt because he has a room for it. And. Let's give this to BC. Alright. Now then, let's see how much better. By one. Yeah. Why not, right? And yeah, that'll make Hypo much more resilient. Um, which I will do. I will give him the Earth Pendant now. So, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Is there anything else that I do not need, but I want to store? Um... I'm gonna sell the ultimate bat, the diamond band, the meteotite, the night pendant, the moonbeam gun. I might sell that off. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna store, I'm gonna store the. 
Where is it? Where is it? Rabbit's foot. Because it's a rabbit foot. I mean, come on. Why not, right? Um. And that's all. That's all, folks. <laughs> Alright. Um. Actually, I think that will do it for this episode. So, I thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Next time, of course, we will go back to Saturn Valley and give the meteorite piece to Dr. 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 <laughs> Dr. Andernuts so he can finish the phase distorter so we can use it. So, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Thank you.